Hello there, I'm Alicat Gamer, and today I'm going to show you five things you might not have noticed in Monster Hunter World. Monster Hunter World is a fantastic game full of lots of visual details that can go unnoticed during the hustle and bustle of preparing for a hunt. The game's streamlined mechanics of crafting and collecting can make it very easy to miss the fine details, especially when you're focused on getting the next materials to upgrade your weapon or armor. However, if you take the time to stop, look around, and explore, you will notice the visual cues and attention to detail that went into making this game. Number 5. The Argosy The Argosy is a ship that sits in dock from the beginning of the game, but later leaves to report back to the old world. Later in the game, you will be able to buy materials, consumables, or sellable items from its captain. Every so often, you'll get a little message telling you that the Argosy is in port when returning from a hunt. But did you notice that the Argosy ship physically disappears and returns to dock? You can even see it from the higher levels as a nice visual cue. Pretty neat, huh? Number 4. Harvesting Early in the game, you are introduced to cultivating, where you can farm certain plants, bugs, and mushrooms for crafting. As they cultivate, they fill up a harvest box, which you can check on and collect when you're ready. But did you know that you don't have to talk to the botanist to check on how full the boxes are? Ever notice this basket? Well, that represents your harvest yield and will visually fill with items the more they stack up. They will also empty as soon as you collect your harvest. So if you've already put enough fertilizer in and you're just waiting for a full box, just look to the baskets, and much like the Argosy, you can see how full they are from the higher levels. Number 3. The Palico Safari Later in the game you get the option to send out a group of Palicos on an adventure, and of course all this can be done through a menu. However, if you're a cat lover like me, then it's hard to deny adoring their cute little faces as you send them off from the research base. But did you notice that when they come back, the area where they wait for you to collect your reward gets full of items? And just like the harvesting baskets will disappear when you collect them. Same goes for the group of palicos you choose to send. You can look at the three groups that have made the roster, and once one has been chosen, will disappear from the area. Good luck, guys! Number 2. The Chamber of the Five during the game, you hear a lot about the Tale of the Five, and only ever get snippets of dialogue about it. The different fleet's banners are inspired by the story. It has a mantra. And may the Sapphire Star light your way. May the Sapphire Star light your way. May the Sapphire Star light your way. And you even get a mural depicting the tale at the end of certain story missions. So where can you find out what the tale is about? Well, aside from finding it in an endgame location, you can find it in the Gathering Hub. At the Gathering Hub, there is a set of double doors that you can enter. And at the beginning of the game, you get two choices. Go to your room, or enter the Chamber of the Five. If you go into the chamber, you will find this chapel-like room, with a stained glass mural depicting the story, the fleet's flags, and a book containing the lore of the Sapphire Star. You can even talk to this guy, who seems to be in deep admiration of the mural, and get some snippets of lore. However, once you advance the story to a particular point, you can no longer access this room, so check it out early. It's pretty neat. Number 1. The Huntsman The Huntsman is a nice throwback to previous Monster Hunter games, and seems to hold tightly to the old ways of the hunt. He's grisly and mysterious, never removing his helmet, but if you take the time to talk to the guy, he's actually pretty sweet. You can always find him here, sitting proudly next to his longsword. However, later in the game, he will disappear from his chair from time to time. It could be assumed that he has gone on a hunt, surveying the land and keeping his skills sharp, ready for the next hunt. Or he could be sleeping. Yes, sleeping. If you're living it up in the private suite, or relaxing in the rustic private quarters, all you have to do is downgrade to the living quarters to find him. This is a nice reference for seasoned Monster Hunter players because in the old games, you had to save by sleeping in a bed, and you would lie down just like this. 
Aw, look at him, sleeping like a baby. Well, did you notice any of these things beforehand? Or is this all news to you? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please click the like button. And if you want to watch more, please subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Till then, this is Alicat Gamer signing out till next time. See ya!